Hello everyone and welcome back to Cronus Plays Final Fantasy IV. If you're American, did you enjoy your Thanksgiving? Did you not get trampled on Black Friday, which is today? Are you ready for more side quests in Final Fantasy IV today? I believe the answer to all of those is... What? No, so yeah. We're going to be doing one little more side quest before advancing the story. I mean, what, we just, we went a full episode the other day just advancing the story, that's fine. Hey, now it's time for side quest. So this is the Lair of the Father. Yes, this place is actually quite hard. We're going to be running into uh, Dark Sages who cast level 3 spells. Usually on all of the party members, which helps, but sometimes they do it single target. If you didn't see what that was because I was a little too zealous with my clicking, that was, uh, we haven't actually run into anything here, so I don't know why I stopped talking there. That was a Genji Glove. Let's try Break so I don't have to heal too much damage. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta be careful with those. They have a good amount of hit points. I think it's like 7,000, 8,000. Uh, thankfully, break, uh, break still seems to hit them fairly regularly. Oh, we get a Maiden's Kiss and a measly 1,700 experience points. This place is not good for grinding, apparently. Yeah, because even with four, like, four... Oh, God, I hope we don't run into four of them. Um... <laughs> Because even with a lot of them, that's still not that much. And see... Okay, and we got a Moon Maiden. Okay, cast Break on the Dark Sage. I think I called them Dark Witches earlier. So this takes 1100 damage. Lovely. Kick for good measure. Uh, Bless is a fairly... decent skill. Um, on Fusro Da, or Fusoya, I don't know why I keep fucking up his name, probably because I've been playing Skyrim a lot. Um, it's kind of lackluster. What it does is it puts a, a buff on your party that makes them regenerate a certain percentage of their MP each turn. Um, of course, if he goes first, that's great. If he doesn't, well, it's the thought that counts, right, folks? There's a uh, naming way. Oh, going my way. Oh, greetings and salutations, Cecil. It's always a pleasure to run into you. I'm still just traveling about with no particular destination. Well, until we meet again. I think he just starts appearing at different locations throughout the game. And we get the Genji shield, which is a decent shield. But, you know, I'm going to have to go back and uh, check how much experience we were getting on the, with the world map. Because I seem to remember getting like... 8,000 per battle out on the world map and not like 4,000 because uh, I, I sort of remember the lair of the father being a little more generous with, with the experience points. Also, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about the Genji shield. We don't want that one. Jesus. We don't want her the hail at all. Uh, yeah, so right now it's, it's Cecil's the only one that can equip it it is a decent shield, but the uh, Aegis shield is a little better in terms of magic defense, and I kind of need that here. While the Genji shield is just a lit, like one point better at physical defense. So I'll be keeping the Aegis shield on me for right now. Where did I miss? Top, okay. God damn it, Cecil. Eh, that's how powerful they are. I should probably equip like the flame shield, but they cast uh, Thangara and uh, Blazara, whatever the hell it's pronounced, on my characters. There we go. Layer of the Father, Basement 1, Golden Apple. Very nice. So nice, I'm not even going to think twice. 
Yeah, I should probably put... Alright, so that part's all good. <clears throat> We're gonna be running into behemoths shortly. Now, behemoths are... Not that difficult, actually. Oh, sorry. It kind of looked like I was uh, missing a part of the map there. That's why I kept running over there. Genji armor. That should uh, should be better than the flame. I have. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, fairly decent. It definitely uh, helps with that defense we're missing. Yeah, getting rid of the Defender Sword definitely kind of put us at a disadvantage when it came to uh, absorbing the hits. Let's see how the Genji helmet... Helps with magic defense. I'm all game for that. Are we missing anything down here? Looks like we're missing something down oh, here. Oh, we got a dry ether. That'll come in handy a little later. Get rid of some of these potions, Jesus. Go. You don't need that many. <laughs> Up here should be our first behemoth encounter. There he is. So, Ninjutsu Mirage. Cecil, you defend, please. Uh, we want to cast Protect. Well, might as well do it on everyone. Then we want to cast Blink on Cecil. Rydia, I want you to cast Leviathan. He will counter any physical attack with a physical attack. He will counter a basic magic attack with an attack that reduces your hit points to one. Last time I did this, he did not counter summons. So, here we go! Now, I had Cecil defend just in case uh, he got in an attack which thankfully he didn't I could really just have him attack Cecil the whole time and have Rydia cast Leviathan probably wouldn't be a bad idea to be quite honest you know what, you cast Bless I Defend. They have about 40,000 hit points. You know what? I'm just going to have him... I'm not going to put Blink on Cecil. I'm just going to have Cecil defend. But I will put... I will heal him. And I put Cura. There you go. Some reason I put it all the way down there. Seems, seems smart at the time. <laughs> Don't want to use magic. Guess we can uh, haste uh, Edge. Should probably haste Riddy as well. No, oh, you should. Yeah, I think we've seen Leviathan, didn't we? Well, we might have. Well, maybe we didn't. So we'll just keep Cecil healed, have him defend. We'll put another haste on to... Rydia. Summon Leviathan. I guess I could summon Sylph. Let's see how much damage that does. Sylph is generally a good summon, at least in the other games. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have, uh... You cry. I wanna see how much this helps, if he can even... You know... Be cried on. He can! Alright. What was Edge doing? Like, a thousand? That's a lot. Okay. Big fan of that. Now, the next, there's three, or three more coming up, and I'll probably just be cutting them out because it's just this. This is what I'm going to be doing. Summon the Leviathan, having the Cecil counterattack, 
having Edge cast Blink on himself and attacking. Seems pretty basic, because it is. Now, if you come in here not knowing that he counterattacks... Oh, I didn't even see how much Silt, like, Silt did. I was just kind of off in La La Land. Um, but yeah. If you, if you came in here not knowing what he did, then you would... Really? You canceled my Kira, huh? Asshole. You would probably die to the Behemoth the first time. If you did not know to, you know, cast Blink on your melee targets or have Cecil defend and just soak up the damage. Because apparently that's what he's good for these days. He should almost be dead. Is... I might as well pray. Is Bless still going? Let's see. Yeah, Bless is still going. That helps. Bless and Pray at the same time restores a good amount of MP. And he's dead. Thank you. All right. And we got a power omelet and a bunch of experience points. That's good. Fusters. Fusoya is uh, apparently an asshole for not gaining any stats. Ah, Dark Sages. Did I mention how much I like them? They're my favorite enemy to encounter. Because apparently they're more challenging than behemoths. It makes a lot of goddamn sense. And Lair of the Father Basement 2! We get a golden apple. Nice. <sighs> Sorry. I like how the random encounters are stronger than, like, the mini-boss encounters. We did complete that map, right? I'm not just being dumb? Okay. So, there's no more treasure. But there are some dragons! Silver and gold. Just defend, Cecil, Jesus. You know what? Cry. These guys weak against anything? Eh, yeah, probably. I'm just gonna cast Leviathan. Oh, no I'm not. Well, we're gonna cast Bless. And... Attack. Yeah, let's try Self again. Maybe we'll actually get lucky. I don't know why I'm curing everyone. Seemed like the smart idea to do at the time. I should actually watch this something because I don't think we have before. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, that's a little silly. Are they naked? No, okay. They're wearing one piece jumpsuits. One of them looked like they were naked. Eh, that's decent damage. We have Bless going already. Guess let's cast Flare. You know, Rydia, why don't you use a Dry Ether on yourself? Ah, Blaze! That's not an annoying ability at all. Should probably have Fusoya, uh, fucking Hail. Come on! Mm hmm. Dead? Not dead. Come on, Rosa. Let's do this. We need to get everyone uh, topped off on health just in case they do another blaze. Or two blazes. Okay, one's down. Don't really. You know, I kind of care about that, actually. But who knows, we might get a drop or something good, or... Anything. Ah, 
how how did you miss that? Don't miss. Does break work hands these guys? Seems like a waste of uh, magic points, but I would assume they're immune to death. They're immune to death. All right. Okay. He's down. Like a clown. Let me get Stardust. And hey, finally we get a good chunk of experience points. Hey, she learned Tornado. Probably never going to use that, but... It's, uh, it's good to have, I guess. Probably. Maybe? Dude, I don't know. Tornado seems fairly strong for uh, the enemies to use. Okay, that's that cleared up. Now, we're going to be going through this little pathway and fighting behemoths. Fusoya gained another level. And he gained nothing. We did get a power sash, though. That... I mean... Evasion, magic defense, and magic evasion-wise is pretty shit, but it does increase his strength by a lot, so we're probably gonna go with it. Also, you didn't miss much in that battle, but that one was just a random encounter, so... Yeah, the behemoth battles, they're... long. And that's about it. They're not challenging, they're long. And I think we have two more, or maybe just one more. It's probably just one more. Oh, but this is a new enemy. That does a lot of goddamn damage. <laughs> uh, it's a zombie dragon, right? A bone dragon. Um, I believe he's... Weak to holy. Well, he should be weak to holy, but uh, I, I think he could be damaged by healing abilities. I'm not in the mood to try that out, so let's not. He's also weak to fire, of course, because he's, you know, dead. Wow, so yeah, that was fucking awful, dude. In fact, I feel bad that I even had you do that. <laughs> Not too bad. Definitely. Now we're getting the experience points. The the behemoth should be right up here. Hmm, guess there's only we got a goddamn headband for that behemoth. <laughs> Hello, little child. What business have you with the first sire, hollowed father of the Adoldans? Half here at home, half from it parted. You're an interesting creature. You two are weird. So, you have enlisted the aid of Leviathan, but power such as his can be won without light's gift. Only the ultimate trial can determine the most sacred force truly rests within you, the trial of I, Bahamut, hallowed father of the Adolans. That's boss time. I kind of forgot it automatically happened. <laughs> so first thing we want to do is we want to cast Spider Silk. Then we want to cast... Actually, you know what? No. We want less. Then we want Shell. Then I think we can dispel it, but I think he automatically puts on Reflect again. So... There's that. Uh, we do want to cast Leviathan. Here's the attack. Let's see what this does. Yeah, he just automatically puts it on. So he's gonna keep counting down. We want to actually we want to cry, don't we? We also want to cure everyone. Now, because we have slow, um, the ability, his uh, his reflect, 
will dispel slower. But it doesn't matter, he'll automatically put it on anyways. Eh, 5,000 damage. Three! Kinda want to... We have Shell on everyone. Top us off, Rosa. Well, top Cecil off. Probably should just put his auto, his regular attack on. I don't like doing that. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't done it. Um, let's see what Flare does. I forget if he counterattacks magic. One, here it comes. Will we survive? Find out next time. No, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, right. Reflect. Right. I'm a silly man. I'm a dumb man, but a silly man. Okay. Okay, so Fusoya is down. Edge is down. But Cecil is still in the white, so that's good. Edge is down because I cast Reflect, and... Oh yeah, I cast Arise. Man, what is wrong with me today? It's... It's because I went over 20 minutes for this episode, isn't it? That's alright, you can tell me. You know what, do this one. Probably unnecessary, but I think it's worth it. Oh, we need the recast shell on Fusoya and uh, Edge. He still has Reflect up. Of course he does. But yeah, he re he uh, casts Reflect on himself, then he bounces Mega Flare off and hits the party. It's kind of... Nice how they did that, to be quite honest. I'm, I'm glad they made it so that Reflect just doesn't fuck him over like it does in the Nintendo versions. It's all good. He should almost be dead, actually. And he's dead. Okay. Not a hard boss. I actually have harder trouble with the gold and silver dragons around here. Those guys pack a punch. Uh, but Bahamut is just a... Survive Mega Flare battle. That's all it is. I am really tw level 60 with uh, Cecil. Oh, Fusoya. Your stack gains are so goddamn good. Your strength of arm and spirit is now proven. Should you... Ear require my aid, Rudia, it is yours to invoke. Speak but my name, Bahamut, and I shall appear. And we learned Bahamut. Pretty good ability. Actually, it's the best ability for Rydia. But, uh, what do you say? Your strength? Oh, god damn it. Shut up. <laughs> so that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to uh, my video section and check out some of my past videos. See if it's to your liking. Um, if you haven't liked the video yet, like the video. Come on, I cast Flare, uh, flare on Reflect and killed Edge. Who doesn't like that, really? Either way, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.